G'day and welcome to the next episode of Tech Adept Crafts. Today we are talking about bases. This base is one that I have designed myself. It's a paving stone base. It is a simple 25 mil circular base, but a cutout of a War of the Rings tray. So we have the option of playing these as War of the Rings movement trays, and that'll fit eight models, or you can simply take the models off and use them individually. These are designed to match my paving stone tiles that I designed for my modular table. You can see a link up there to that modular table board. Uh, that board is designed to work for things like um, Minas Tirith or, um, you know, you could use it for any sort of D&D uh, setting. Uh, this is a fantasy paving stone board. Um, and the, the tiles simply match straight to that. Now I've painted them slightly darker because that way the models do stand out a little bit more on the, the table, that's fine. But that really nice white sort of stone work um, worked beautifully for the entire table. If you'd like to support the channel, you can pop on over to Patreon at patreon.com slash techadeptcrafts. And we'd love to see you over there as the, the newest member for the hobby table. Uh, and you can get yourself an STL file each year designed by Ian Lovecraft, an amazing designer. And I do painting tutorials that I release uh, regularly. So today's one, very, very quick, simple bases. Uh, I've kept this at a, at a very small number of colors, very fast, uh, painting up just you know, that, that's eight bases that I painted up um, in a very short space of time. Sit back and enjoy the tutorial. I do have some photos of some other bases if you are interested at the end, uh, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But enjoy the tutorial and I'll see you in a few moments. I decided not to spray this one. I'm gonna paint straight onto it, but there is the laser cut base. I'm using a straightforward gray, white and black craft paint, which I paint all over the entire model. Now, laser cut designs do sometimes have a bit of a slightly sticky edge, so spraying probably would have been good, but a couple of coats on the edge is really all it took. And there we have grey. I'm showing a half-half all the way through here so you can see one effect onto the next. Just when I'm ready to punch out those circles, I will need to go and paint the inside. I did have one that I'm painting up also for the miniatures, and this one has been sprayed white, so you can see there the difference between one that was undercoated and one that wasn't. There really isn't a lot of a difference, but that does show with the bottom plate stuck down to the top plate now. It certainly is a lot easier to paint the base though before you stick the miniatures on. Next step is a dry brush of a light gray. This goes over the entire um, underside. I really should have gone to get a bigger brush for this, but hey, I was really feeling very cold and very lazy and really didn't want to move. There we go, first layer of dry brush done, and you can see the difference that that first dry brush makes. Now, for a two-tone effect, uh, we are choosing two colors to add over the top. I've got a raw sienna here, and that is just going to pick out certain bricks across the plate. Um, I am trying to pick out ones that go over the edge so that when you're lining up the miniatures, you can actually see where they fit in a little bit easier. You don't need to go crazy, but a, but a few on each of the circular 25 mil bases works really, really well. And there you see with the first of the two colors. Second color, I'm going with the turquoise, something a little bit different than a brown or the gray, just to add a bit of color in there. And again, same thing, pick out some tiles, some that go over the edges is, again, a nice thing to help you to match over. But, it, but you don't want to go crazy with this. two different colors. There's really only one step left, and that is to do a full dry brush over the top with white. This gives it a really light, vibrant feel. Almost marble, but not but not quite marble. Um, I haven't done a proper marble effect yet, and I don't think I'll have 
time ever to really do that. But on the larger squares, I do go in like a circular motion, getting a bit more of that color in the middle of the square or, or the middle of the, the rectangle, if it's a rectangular uh, paving stone. As crafters and designers, we're often very critical of our own work. And while I'm not completely happy with the very nice symmetry in these pavers, I'm really happy with how that turns out. That is a good paving stone. All right, so there you have it. There is the paving stone bases. Now, as I said at the beginning, there are a number of other ones. I do have the, um, the bases for cavalry. Um, I do have cracked earth bases, um, which work wonderfully uh, for desert terrain. You may have seen some of these on the one of my very recent videos for the gateway to the gods. Yes, got to love the, uh, the old Stargate. Um, there is also dwarven bases. Uh, I have cobblestone bases and a number of other things. I've also got just plain bases without the uh, the insert, which are designed for Kings of War. Um, and those uh, are a number of sizes as well. So if you would like to see any of those, please just let me know in the, in the comments and which of those styles you'd like to see. So the second design of pavers, which are a bit more haphazard, dwarven, cobblestone, cracked earth. There's even wood grain um, tiles as well. So if you'd like to see any of those and how I would paint up those different uh, types of stone or wood, just let me know. If you haven't clicked subscribe or clicked like yet, make sure you do hit those two buttons and leave a comment down the bottom as to what you'd like to see me tackle in the future. Um, I'd love to, love to hear from you and, and have you join our little, little band of builders. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers. I want to thank all of my Patreon supporters, but in particular, the full tackle, Ancient Rabbit, Andreas Rocco, Charles Faduke, David Bennett, David Skiberis, Wayne C. Israelson, Gene McGuire, Joel Cunningham, Judy Hayes, Kevin Goodrich, Christina B., Lopiana, Michael Togwell, Night Lurker, Riri, Sean Rickmeyer, and Talazanch.